All right, so the first fight of the Christy Martin Invitational Day 2 at a championship bout with these uh, two fine athletes here. And I will tell you, what a way to set the day uh, for the boxing. It was a good scrap, a very, very close fight, uh, a very competitive fight. At some points, they were fighting almost in a phone booth and exchanging just hooks. All right, so I'm going to start off with you. First of all, tell everybody your name and where you're fighting from. Tanaja Milligan. I'm fighting out of Sweet Science Boxing Club in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm 26. She was my fifth match, and I feel good. You know, I, I can't even lie, being that I've seen her work. I saw her before, and I knew she was going to be a challenge before I got here. So she put me to work today. I thought my fight yesterday was challenging. She definitely challenged me, made me dig in places that I needed. She just helped me work more. She seen she made me see today what I need to work on, and I hope that I get another chance to be in the ring with her. I mean, it was great work, nice competitive spirit, and you see how we walked out of the ring. So I really appreciated working with her, and I do it all over. <laughs> and, and that's exactly why I put you two together because I, I saw the camaraderie being exchanged after the fight. Tell everybody your name so, and where you're fighting out of. My name is Eddie Cranza. I fought out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Level up boxing and fitness. Um, I'm 30 years old. Been fighting for a couple years now. But uh, definitely, T came with that work. Uh, it's crazy because I knew it was going to be competitive. I saw her beat a very, very competitive opponent yesterday, and she mopped the floor with that girl. Um, she's a lot more humble about it than I am. She mopped the floor with that girl. Yeah. Um, so I was, I was excited for the bout. I was really excited to fight her. I've seen her before, um, seen her do some great work. But to date, this was my ninth fight, and uh, she's been my toughest opponent yet. So it's a lot of fun. I appreciate the work. We're definitely going to link up and keep talking later on. I'm still trying to catch <laughs> and, <laughs> But it was a lot of fun, man. Great. And 26 years old, 30 years old, why boxing? Of all the sports, all the hobbies, why boxing? For me, um, and for my full-time job, I'm an occupational therapist. And I used to work with kids, a lot of the youth that like had a lot of challenges, you know, both in the community with mental health and things like that. So to be honest, I'm at a point where I just do it for kids like that so that they can see that, you know, it's way more that we could do with our free time. And although you may not think you have the talent, I just started boxing when I was 22, 23. You can build yourself into having that talent as long as you dedicate to something. So for me, I just took on that role without anybody asking me to dedicate to something and prove what dedication looks like. And boxing has been that sport to bring out certain sides of me that I never thought existed. So I'm really grateful for that, to be honest. Awesome. And for you? I know for we have one thing we share in common is boxing with that weight, weight loss journey. Um, <laughs> for sure, man. There's no better workout than boxing. But um, I'm in law enforcement now. I've done uh, business my whole entire life and to the point that I opened my own boxing gym. At first it started for fitness. I did love for fitness and boxing. Um, but it's, I'm a very competitive person and I realized like, the need for more talent, more women to come into the sport and uh, keep elevating it. So I took on that challenge and been fighting. We would go anywhere to fight. I'm just like her. You know, we have that in common. We have a lot in common. We'll go anywhere. We'll pick up any fight. doesn't matter what weight. What I mean, is. If they let me fight whatever weight, I don't care. You put anyone in front of me, we're going to take that, that fight and we're going to have fun with it. Um, just love boxing, man. It's a sweet, sweet science, and a lot of people think it's just going in and throwing hands, but there's so much literal science behind it uh, that, that just fascinates me, trying to hone down on those skills and just really master the sport that you can't master. So. Absolutely. Well, listen, uh, I can't think of two greater ambassadors for uh, what you do for women, for women's boxing, and for USA Boxing. I thank you for such a great interview. Good luck to you uh, in, your, in your endeavors in boxing and in life. Thank you. Awesome, man. Thank you. Appreciate it.